New at 6, the sturgeon season opener kicked off today all across the state. Participants started coming in to register their fish around 12.30 this afternoon. The season lasts for 16 days or until any of the sex-specific harvest caps for a certain fishery has been reached. We have been reporting on the ice conditions for spearing all week. With DNR officials saying once again today that no ice is safe ice, some people did venture out and were told there were two sturgeon speared, which were over 100 pounds, one weighing 113.6 pounds and the other weighing in at 104.3 pounds. So that's not something that we might not notice until a little bit later, um, but these sturgeon, uh, the sturgeon in the system are actually very hardy. They've dealt with extremely warm um, summers in the past now and they've dealt with warmer winters I don't know if they've dealt with one this warm it's been a fairly warm winter as it is but these guys are very resilient when they DNR officials say this year 1,300 people bought a license to spear sturgeon spearing season closes on February 25th as a precaution Nina Menasha fire rescue has set out movable barriers at all of their launch areas this weekend they will let the barrier, they say the barrier will let the public know of the compromised ice conditions that may be susceptible to breakthroughs. Those breakthroughs may happen under the weight of heavy vehicles. Both local and regional authorities are strongly advising all people intending to go out on the ice to be extra careful amid this mild weather. Nina Menasha officials recommend that before you go out on the ice to look at updated and accurate information regarding current ice conditions from trustworthy sites. Tonight, we'll